Mossberg MC2 subcompact new pistol from Mossberg. Let's see how it does. All right. Those were my first shots. I loaded up this 14 round mag. I may have had 13 in there, but those were my first shots. I got a good feel of where exactly to align them with the sights. Three dot sights, optic ready for those micro red dots. Each and every one of the MC2 subcompacts come optic ready and that is a nice touch. I forgot to start this out. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. We are looking at the new Mossberg, check that out. I like the grip, patches of stippling throughout, does have some funky serrations with the back strap and front strap, but a very nice ergonomic feel to it. 14 round mags and a 11 round mag with two finger contact with the 11 round mag. I'm going to bring that out. Does have front serrations here, three point four inch barrel. It does have some texturing right there. You can put your finger there, put your thumb right there on that texturing and a five and a half pound flat face trigger. Right there, five and a half pounds and a tactical reset. So you can hear it, a lot of people like that. A little bit of a different takedown. You, you remove the back plate. I showed this on my table review. You move the remove the back plate and you take out the striker assembly and it comes apart. It does have a dual recoil spring, all steel guide rod, and metal drift adjustable sight. So it's a nice handgun. It's a good looking handgun. I think it is. And Mossberg entered the very popular double stack subcompact 9mm handgun market. They did with the MC2 subcompact. A lot of people liked the MC1 subcompact and now they have higher capacity. Let me go ahead and load it up and We'll fire it some more. Here we have the 11 round mag. With this inserted, you're looking at two finger contact. I think most people would carry with the 11 round mag. Capacity of 12, it would print less, and it's loaded weight with 12 rounds is 25 and a quarter ounces. Let's start with that seven inch target. Right there. Whoa, I just popped. It's a nice little shooter. I like it. It is not that much thicker in the grip than the MC1 subcompact, which is the single stack 9mm. This has a double stack, obviously. You can see right there, a double stack. But the trigger pretty much remains the same. The capacity is increased. The barrel length is the same, 3.4 inches. And I like the way it fires. That was my second mag through it, and I think it was okay. And I took out my target. I'm not sure why I hit the target, and then it blasted it out. So this thing may be more powerful than we originally expected. But I mentioned before, it is optic ready. All of these are optic ready. They also offer this with night sights with an increased price. And it's also available with a thumb safety, a push forward thumb safety right there, right above the magazine release. But this one right here, the standard without the thumb safety is 556 MSRP. People are telling me that they're out and available. They're getting them for much less than that. So um, I'm pretty happy that this is available for everybody to get, but it, it shoots really nice, I have to say. Let me go ahead and load it up and we'll try it again. Here we have the 14 round mag. You can see it has this sleeve here. They most likely pulled this mag from the MC2C, the compact size with the 3.9 inch barrel. Let's go ahead and take some shots. You can check out the, the recoil here. Yeah, that's a nice shooter. Here we've got the slide lock back, 11 round mag. 
and I slammed it home and it did load a round. Let's do a lip wrist test. Pretty good, I have to say. The MC2 subcompact passed the lip wrist test. There it is, the Mossberg, the new Mossberg. This was introduced October 25th, MC2 subcompact. Nice little handgun. I think they did a nice job with this. I like the capacity of 14 rounds and 11 rounds. 3.4 inch barrel, I mentioned, very nice trigger. It fed, fired and ejected reliably my first time out. And it's a pretty accurate shooter, I have to say. It's got nice ergonomic feel. Uh, 5.56 I think is fair. We'll see what the gun store prices are. I'm, I'm told that people were picking it up already for under $500. And I think Mossberg created a pretty nice handgun. Still may throw an optic on there, not sure yet, but I like the way it shoots. And I guess there's really nothing negative to say. I did notice that it does have this rail here without a slot in here for a uh, accessory to attach. Uh, I know there are some that will attach right to the rail, so you'd have to be specific there. But 25 and a quarter ounces loaded with 12 rounds. That's not bad. So this is the new Mossberg MC2 subcompact and that was my range review. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.